Welcome back. Uh, I'm your host, Gabriel, and here's the recap of the second semifinal game of this World Cup. France has advanced in the finals after a 2 0 victory over Morocco yesterday. Uh, the French squad once again performed a little below expectations, but uh, was still able to win a game that uh, was tighter than what the final score suggests. There were two shots on targets uh, per team. France had chances by um, Theo Hernandez uh, at the end of the game, fifth minute, and then uh, Moani later on. And, and were, were lucky or skillful enough to translate both into goals. Uh, Hernandez with a very acrobatic finish, uh, whereas uh, goalkeeper Hugo Doris uh, made a couple of impressive saves and, and prevented uh, Morocco from getting on the board. Uh, Doris' performance, uh, along with um, that of um, Barane and Konate, were, were key for France to make it to this second final in a row. And, and try to win back-to-back -back World Cup, something that hasn't happened or hasn't been accomplished since Brazil did it in 1958 in Sweden and then again in 1962 in Chile. So it's been 60 years since the last time. Um, it was the end of a dream for the Cinderella team of this tournament, the very hard-working Moroccan side, but not the end of the road because they will still have to play against uh, Croatia on Saturday for the third place. Um, we should be hearing more about players like Bono, Hakimi, Saiz, uh, El Yamik, Amrabat, Siyech, and El Nasiri uh, from now on. Uh, definitely. Morocco has impressed a lot of people. Uh, well, now France will have a chance to rest for a couple of days as they prepare for the final game against Argentina. Um, Karim Benzema, against all odds, and very surprisingly, is flying back from Madrid to Qatar and will be available to play on Sunday. Uh, but who knows for how long, how healthy he is. Um, what would Didier Deschamps do? Uh, see Olivier Giroud, who has been nothing but an outstanding all tournament and scored four goals so far, and, uh, and in favor of Benzema starting on Sunday? Uh, I certainly wouldn't. Uh, instead, I would reserve the Ballon d'Or winner uh, to the last minutes of the game, depending on how the score is, or how the game is going, um, and, and, and start you nevertheless, um, uh, regardless of uh, Karim Benzema's uh, name and, and his impressive accolades. Um, you know how they call the players of the team that wins the World Cup, uh, those who play the least amount of time or don't play at all, they call them champions. So why risk uh, the and further injuring uh, uh, such a, a, a incredible player uh, at an age when he might not be able to recover from his worst injury, uh, unless it's absolutely necessary. I certainly would. So as mentioned, um, France and Argentina now have a chance to rest a few days before the game on Sunday. There are no major injuries or, or, or anything preventing any players from being available for both coaches. So we're definitely going to see uh, an amazing game this week. We did it. We're in the World Cup final. It's an absolute great feeling. Uh, the second semi-final is done. And when, now we have two games left in this World Cup. The third place match uh, and the gold medal game. Uh, wow. An interesting game to say the least. Uh, today from Morocco and France Morocco playing a lot stronger than I ever would have gave them credit for especially in a game where they went down early uh, Tio Hernandez doing a great job of scoring in the fifth minute um, You know, I said in my prediction that I thought they would score a bit later in the game and that That would force Morocco to play more open and go for it more and that would cause them um, To be caught out more, but that was not the case whatsoever it seemed that um when they weren't protecting the lead and when they actually were down, they just were a good side. They they moved the ball well. They possessed the ball, I think, more than France. Uh, they had some great opportunities. Uh, the finishing ability and the clinical ability was not there tonight for Morocco, which is unfortunate for them, seeing as they've been the fairy tale, the fairy tale story of this, world's, this year's World Cup. And... It's definitely been interesting to see how they've played against each side 
they've come up against and how they fare against them because it's a different opponent every time. But this time it's just too little, too late. Uh, France really put their chances away when they had them. Uh, they came kind of few and far between, seeing as Morocco did hold a lot of the possession. Um, but when they took it, I mean, Kylian Mbappe just dribbling through three or four players just to get the ball off. And uh, Kulu Mane, or Kulu, I don't know how to say his name. Kulu Mune, I don't know. Uh, his first name's Randall. So he scored, tap in. Uh, which solidified the cushion and got us a second goal, winning 2-0, uh, as I predicted, which is really good. I'm really, really excited uh, for the final. Allez, le bleu! Pretty uneventful semi-final yesterday. Uh, with France going up really early, Morocco had a few chances, but not too much to watch. Honestly, I think it's been the least exciting game so far. But um, really looking forward to Sunday. We have a good battle, you know, rematch of round of 16 from 2018. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, these videos are just starting to get a little slower because there's less games to talk about. But now we have a few days break until the final on Sunday. So looking forward to seeing Argentina play one more time and see if we can bring it home. And there you have it. This incredible World Cup is coming close to an end. Only two games left. Hard to believe. It's been 25 days of incredibly um, fun and unexpected games and results and in the end probably the two teams that most people expected to be in the finals are going to be in the finals um, so who's going to prevail we will see very soon uh, we'll be back tomorrow with our predictions for the third place game and a couple more bits of information so i'll see you there